The Mouth in Scleroderma, an information video about oral health for people living with scleroderma. Oral and dental problems are very common in people living with scleroderma. A dry mouth, for example, can contribute to gum disease, and acid reflux can cause enamel erosion. Additionally, tightening of the mouth, or microstomia, can make it difficult to clean your teeth, and tightening of the skin on the hands can make it difficult to grip a toothbrush or to floss. Although it can feel overwhelming at first, it is important to learn about how best to care for your mouth and maintain your oral health when living with scleroderma. Frequent sips of water and sugar-free chewing gum can help a dry mouth. Avoiding sugar and alcohol and not smoking will reduce the risk of tooth decay, erosion, and gum disease. Toothpaste, which is high in fluoride, will provide more protection to the teeth. In a recent study, people living with scleroderma shared how they adapted their oral care routine. You need to change very much how you look after your teeth because holding a normal toothbrush is really painful. So, I got an electric toothbrush now, which has a really wide handle. I've got a really tiny brush head, so you know, you can get in everywhere. If I use normal floss, I lose circulation and stuff, so that's why you then use floss harps. I've changed from a normal toothpaste to one with fluoride in it, just to increase the coverage. And then, for example, Instead of a mouthwash, you look for a non-alcoholic one. So it's like a lot of little adjustments, but all of them doing their things. Occupational or physical therapy can be beneficial for people who experience tightening of the mouth and hands. There are face, mouth and hand exercises, which you can do at home to improve mobility and make it easier to clean your teeth. Some people with scleroderma may struggle to open their mouth for dental treatment, or may find that usual dental equipment is too large to use. So, in your dental appointments, you could ask for breaks to rest your mouth or ask your dentist to use the smallest possible dental instruments. Proactive prevention and early intervention are crucial for preserving your dental fitness. It is important to inform your dentist of your diagnosis and symptoms as early as possible and to try have a dental checkup every three to six months. To help people inform their dentist about how scleroderma affects their oral health, the charity Scleroderma and Raynaud's UK have provided an educational video and information card that you can show your dentist. Encourage your dentist to seek further information about scleroderma or to discuss your treatment plans with your medical team. If you are concerned about your oral health, your dentist or rheumatology team should be able to offer you advice. They can provide information about the impact of medicines or diet on oral health and scleroderma, and they can advise on practical methods of adapting your oral care routine and managing risk factors. Thank you for watching.